If I were a baro, I will, I will, I will fire, I will, I will fire the vice president. I will not allow him to resign. If I were the vice president, I would. If I were the vice president, I would resign. I will not allow Barrow to the president to uh, fire me. Yeah, because they are incomplete. Why, why? You said you did the two contradicting things. If I were the president, if I were the pre if I were the president, if I were the president, I will not allow my vice president to resign. I will fire him. If I were the vice president, why? Yeah, because he was going to get credit. If I were the vice president, if I were the vice president, I would not like, I would not wait for uh, the I president. Want you to take them, I want you to take them, I want you to take them one by one, sir, and justify them. You said if you were the president, what will you do and why will you do it? Can you elaborate on that? If I were the president, I said, if I were the president, I said I would fire, I would, I, I would not wait uh, for the uh, vice president to resign. I would fire him. That's what I said. Because that if he resigns, you are giving him more credibility for what has happened and for what he will say. And it is obvious and open and evident that there are conflicting, you people are in complete conflict. It's no secret anymore. You talk this way, he talks another way. Sometimes you will not even recognize the presence of the vice president. A lot of things are happening. People are being, people are being uh, uh, sacked because they are affiliated to the president. By the party of the vice president, so all these all these things are known. So I will just I will just sack. I will not wait for you to resign. And I said, not political. This is a political appointment. It's a political appointment. And it is it is geared not towards me achieving my objectives. It is undermining my achievements as the leader. Why do I wait? I need, I, mean, I need complete loyalty and commitment from everybody. And if I, if, I also, if I were also the vice president, I would resign. I would not wait for the president to dismiss me or revoke his nomination. Because that will give him... And what is your justification? My justification is it is known to me that what he is doing, uh, I don't like it. And I am holding an office that he has appointed me to. And we are we are at complete loggerheads. I will show the people because of those principles. I am resigning from his office. I go with my credibility and my dues. Then I wait under those conditions until I am I am dismissed, and I begin to tell people what what are they going to listen to? So, so you think they are both doing injustice to the Gambian people? Injustice? Yeah. I, I mean, you know, this one is to themselves. So we don't know what will happen, whether... You are happy that, you are, you are happy that they are bumping heads? No, no, no. You know, me, I want success. I want Baro to succeed and deliver to the Gambian people. That, not, that does not extend his term. For me, it does not extend his term. When his term comes to an end, it will come to an end. But Gambians need to have move to improve their livelihoods. So anything that would add value to Gambian people's life, I am in support. I don't wish him to fail.